<laughs> ah, keep falling asleep. Dan Brock, the Deadbeat Super Affiliate here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use a simple keyword competitive analysis tool. Ooh, I sounded really smart saying that. To determine whether or not the keyword that you're trying to rank for is something that you can capture easily. I get emails all the time about how to determine whether or not that keyword is one to, to rank for. I know we're all lazy deadbeats here, so no one wants to spend years upon years trying to get those keyword rankings. What I'm gonna do is jump right on into this tutorial and show you exactly how to spot those easy to rank for keywords. Here we go. Dang, look at that hair, just roll out of bed, it's freaking massive, that is awesome. All right, so because of that, this video has got to be freaking cool. All right, Debbie, so in this video, I'm gonna show you a very uh, simple to use and free keyword tool that you can use to determine whether or not the keywords that you're trying to rank your Deadbeat Super Affiliate sites for are easy to rank for. So you can use this with Deadbeat sites, you can use this with simple ClickBank Affiliate sites, really any kind of SEO that you're trying to do as well. All right, so you need the Google Chrome browser for this to work because the plugin is only available on Google Chrome. Overall, it's a great browser to use for uh, affiliate marketers. Anyway, once you have Google Chrome installed, you're going to go up to the little Chrome here. This might change based off Windows. I don't know anything about Windows anymore. Um, but basically look for the Chrome uh, preferences section. So hit preferences, and then on the left side here, there's an extensions uh, navigation bar that hits. So extensions here on the left side. So currently there are no plugins installed. I just uh, uninstalled it just to show you how to do it in this video. So once you click the browse plugins link there, type in Moz Bar. This is a very cool plugin. It's free to use and it'll give you all the info you need to determine keyword competition. All right, so hit to add to Chrome button here, add extension, and we are good to go. So you should, you should see this little blue little box show up. All right, from here, you're gonna to go to Google and you're gonna type in any keyword that you're trying to rank for. So I'm just gonna type in tube socks. I love tube socks. Let's just use that as a ridiculous example. All right, so I just typed in tube socks. So there's one little quick step that we have to do in order to use this plugin. We just have to create an account over at Moz. So let's just hit that, hit the create account. It's a little like button here. It might look different on your computer. Hit that and you're gonna be taken to a page that looks like this. So I already have an account. You're just gonna create an account on your own and then you're gonna log in. So let me log in really quickly here, and we're now good to go. So from here, once you log in, go back to Google and type in your keywords. So hit tube socks again, and now you can see that the toolbar is showing us the data that we need. So you're looking at two different factors here. One is page authority, that's what PA stands for, and the other is domain authority. All right, so right here, what you're seeing is that this particular domain, so that's walmart.com, this is a highly authoritative domain in Google's eyes, obviously obviously because it's walmart.com. So they get a very high domain authority score right here. So you can see this bar is pretty much filled up. Amazon as well, so this other ranking here also has a 98 out of 100, so it's very, very high. The, the domain authority for amazon.com is extremely high. You can see here though that these particular pages on Amazon have low page authority. So this is a little bit easier to rank for. Let me create a quick little graph to better um, explain this to you. So here I am on Photoshop, this is very crude. I'll do this really quickly here. Here's your little axes of the graph. So up on top you have domain authority, that's DA, and this is a score of 100. So you'd see here on the bar that'd be a completely filled bar right here. So this is 98, closest it's gonna get pretty much. Right here on the left is page authority, 100. So that would be the equivalent of seeing a page authority bar here completely filled up. So this is 43, it's not quite 100. Let's just pretend for the example though that it is 100 here. So that ranking or that listing would fall within this quadrant of the graph. Now if you see anything in this quadrant here, it's going to be next to impossible for you as an affiliate marketer to outrank them. So this is a, a high authority domain and a high authority page that is being listed. So anything over here, just exit that out. Anything in the 100 quadrant on the left side here. All right, so that's going to be something you want to avoid. All right, so the second hardest thing to rank for is a listing or a keyword that has pages like this. Now this can be outranked though. That doesn't mean you can't do it. I'll show you an example of this in a second. Uh, so this is a site that falls 
uh, a listing that falls with high domain authority but low page authority. So that'd be page authority zero over here. All right, domain authority zero on the bottom. All right, so that listing falls over here. These you can, uh, if something falls here, you can outrank this. It's just going to be a little bit more difficult. All right, so keep that in mind. This is like a three, let's just give this like a three star competition rating here. All right, the second one is one where the domain authority is low, but the page authority is high. So here's a, a site someone made dedicated to socks. That's just completely awesome. Whoever this guy or girl is, I have to meet them. Their domain authority is a little lower, but their page authority is much higher. So there's a page on here that they're ranking uh, for. What so this is it's really just the main domain here. But this this page on this site has a high page authority, so it ranks pretty well uh, considering the competition here. All right, so this type of listing will fall right here on the graph. Higher page authority, but lower domain authority. So you can easily outrank these as well. Now, the easiest thing to outrank is anything that falls within this quadrant right here. This is something you could literally just throw up a YouTube video, a quick page on your blog, and you'll rank almost instantly for anything that falls within here. So that is a page authority of zero and a domain authority of zero as well. So let me just try to find an example of that. Let's see, socks seems to be relatively competitive. So we're getting down here, something like this. So pride socks, you can see very low. Page authority low, domain authority low. It should be relatively easy for you to jump into this. Now with all of that in mind, I wanna show you something really, really cool. This is gonna knock your freaking socks off. All right, so this keyword is cure ringing ears. This is a relatively competitive keyword. Now this is a ranking that I attempted to uh, capture following my Deadbeat Super Affiliate system. All right, so you can see here, First, the first page here has high domain authority. This is WebMD, very um, difficult to outrank them because they have uh, high domain authority and usually their pages have high page authority. So the second one on the list is uh, Mayo Clinic. You can see here that it has high domain authority and high page authority. So this is number one, number two. Let's just scroll down a little bit, a little bit lower and you can see that my site, CureRingingEars.com, is actually listed on the first page despite the fact that it has low domain authority and low page authority. All right, so I was able to do this following my Deadbeat Super Affiliate system. You can see that it works, and you can see when you do the right things, you're actually able to outrank websites with much higher authority than yours. You can see the one underneath mine has a domain authority of 84 and a page authority of 52. Here's a couple more. Um, eMedicineHealth.com, domain authority 73, high, very high page, uh, page authority as well. All right, so you can see that it is possible as an affiliate marketer to outrank higher authority web pages when you do the right stuff. So that's what I talk about in my Deadbeat Super Affiliate System. Just to give you a quick visual of that previous graph image that I created, if you do the right stuff, you can outrank some of these it's going to be a little bit harder but it is possible now ideally if you can you do want to aim for obviously the the easier to rank for keywords but that isn't always going to be the case all right Debbie so just keep that in mind that is literally the number one question I get from my students is whether or not it's possible to outrank these high authority sites the answer is yes when you do the right things you follow the steps in my Deadbeat Super Affiliate System. All right, Deadbeat, so I hope you enjoyed this video and got a little bit of value out of it. My name is Dan Brock, the Deadbeat Super Affiliate. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I think the button's gonna be right here. I, I teach more things about affiliate marketing all the time. Share this video with your friends and comment below if you have any questions about anything that I talked about here in this video. My name is Dan Brock, the Deadbeat Super Affiliate, and I'll see you Deadbeats later.